Hi, this is Lady Let's UK and this is a dreams tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, a method of, of increasing a number and decreasing a number using a controller sensor. And in this example, I've got a spinning propeller. I was asked on Twitter, um, somebody had made a, an airplane, they wanted to know, can I change the speed of the rotation of my propellers uh, with a controller press? so the player could control the plane speed up and down. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, this example only shows you a visual propeller changing. It's not going to change the speed of a, a plane that has this propeller attached to it. Uh, there is no mechanical link between the two. Uh, you would have to link this somehow into the, 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 the speed of movement, but it's exactly the same principle. So um, just showing you the visual propellers should uh, lead you to um, being able to change the speed of your vehicle right okay so what we've got is we've got some propellers uh, I went to the dream reverse and I got hold of this this is fly away axis 246's five blade helicopter propeller uh, it actually puts three down I only wanted two so I deleted one um, they come with an advanced rotator already linked to it um, but I also wanted to show you that you could use it with a motor bolt as well so um, I link this one to a motor bolt instead of the advanced rotator, both of which do exactly the same thing and work with the microchip in exactly the same way. The only reason that I have two different microchips is because the values that are being sent to these two different gadgets um, need to be slightly different to make them work. But otherwise, the principle is exactly the same. So let me turn it on so we can see. Right. Um, so I'm going to press the R1 button and that's going to speed up our propellers. So now they're working at this speed. I can slow them down a bit with the left one. So they're slowed down a little bit, a little bit more, even slower. And then I can get them down to a stop. You notice the advanced rotator takes a little bit longer to stop than the motor bolt. Um, that's the nature of um, their gadgets and how they work. Uh, one takes slightly longer to uh, for the momentum to uh, to slow it down, while at the motor bolt it's almost an immediate stop. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at our microchips and see how it is done. Let me just pause that. Okay. Into our microchip. It's very very simple. There is very little gadgetry in here. So let's look at the the one with the advanced rotator at the moment. Okay. So the advanced rotator is linked up to a, a variable called speed. We've set our speed um, with a minimum value of zero and I've set its maximum value to be 10. And then I've linked the current value into our advanced rotator. Now, let me just delete that wire and go into the advanced rotator. Now you'll see here, this is the, the speed um, of this turn. The y-axis is what we're turning. We're turning around in this, this circular way. So this is the speed of the axis I want to turn. And this number, whatever you set this number before you put your wire in, this is what how fast one, a, a, a number one would be. So I've got this set to a maximum of 10. So this is going to go from 0 to 10. So the speed is going to go to 180, 360, right up to 1,800. So if you wanted it like for like, then you would set this to be uh, a one, like that. And now when you uh, wire the two up, you will get a like for like value. So there we go, current speed to that axis speed. That will turn it on. And now, as you can see, both those numbers are now the same. So that's a 10, and that's a 10. Now, if I was to change the, the starting speed, delete the wire, change the starting speed to um, a 10, and then link it up. Um, let's get it back down to zero. Right, okay, so as we go up, one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, we're now at 100. 
because we're doing 10 for every one. So whatever speed you want to do, um, you can set it up so that you can have very fine control. So one per second, it'll take them a long time to get up to the speed by pressing the buttons down. Um, I've got um, a variable modifier linked up to the left one button and the R1 button of our controller sensor. And these are what are controlling um, this variable. So you go in and you select remote controllable. Best to do that first so you don't forget because if you set this all up and you forget to do that, it won't work. And then you'll wonder why it's not working. It's because you didn't set this to remote. Right, we link the L1 button to this variable modifier. This is looking for the variable called speed and it's adding minus 0.1. So the left one button is going to make it go down 0.1, 0 0.1. And this one, which is linked to the R1 button, is going to add 0.1. So it's going to go up 0.1. There we go. That's all those are doing. So those buttons are going to change this, this, this number goes up or it goes down like so. And this is changing this number. As you can see, up it goes, down it goes. And like I say, however you, however you want one to be, you set it before you wire, before you, you add the wire and then, um, and then you will have the, uh, the rate that you want. And exactly the same happens with the motor bolt. This is, this is identical. This time, our microchip is linked in to this. This is the cycles per minute um, of the motor bolt. So as we, sorry, I turned it off. As we go up, you can see it is going up to 100. I set this at 10 cycles per minute. So um, 100 is its top speed. If I turn it down and down and down and down, so 428 is 42.8, as you can see. 153 is 15.3. So you will have to experiment with the speeds um, to, to decide how many cycles per minute you want for each of your points to be. And um, This is, whoops. This is adding, it's actually adding 0 0.01, but you can't see it um, because it only shows you two digits. So if I go in, you can see it's 0 0.01. Uh, as opposed to 0 0.1, which we had on the other one, because the the, the difference here is um, uh, it, it, the the cycles are per minute and not per second, so uh, you have to have, have much much smaller numbers. Um, it's a shame that the variable modifier does not show you three digits. Um, you can put in three digits, but it won't show you three digits. This, this is a problem. I wish um, Media Monica would address some of the. Uh, some of the more numerical things um, in dreams are a little bit of a problem, I find. Um, they're not giving us enough numbers. Um, so there you go. You make that 0 point, uh, 0 0.01 and negative 0 0.01 and then it, it will work with the motor bolt. But like I say, because this is per minute and not per second, uh, you have to have much, much smaller numbers for when you're pressing. Otherwise, it's just very, very quick which is not what you want. You want to be able to do it nice and slowly. So there you go. There you go. Very, very, very simple. And that is just a motor bolt linked into the here, to the top of this, uh, with this set to, to circle. I haven't got it quite centered. You have to play about with it. Use your precise move and your and your um, grid in order to get it in a precise, so it's, it's exactly circular. There you go. I hope that was useful. Uh, you can use this method to change any variable up and down. So this this number here can be used for all sorts of things. Um, numbers are what control pretty much everything. So not just speeds of things, but color hues of things, 
focus on the cameras all sorts of things you can um, you can change it and these variables are really in these variable modifiers are really good um, uh, other people I've noticed uh, use the sliders um, I just like to use the variables so there's different ways of doing it this is my method okay thanks for watching hope that was useful and I'll catch you in your dreams